61 laps, two stops. I'm going to try and make it to lap 27 if we can. Set up hill across the hill. Here we go, wait for the green. Great start. Try and get the run and cross into turn one if I can on the outside. Oh, oh, who was that? Was that Schumacher? Oh. Oh dear, spun out the first corner. Without losing any damage on the car. Oh, right the way down the field. What a crap start. But let's just have a quick look and see what happened at the start for me with Schumacher because that must have been a close call. So I obviously didn't get off to a great start. Senna put, obviously, you can see there, pulls away into a decent lead. I got on the outside of Prost, and that's all I thought. It wasn't just me and him. So obviously, I've turned in, didn't know Schumacher was there. There's nothing I could do about it. Schumacher manages to carry on. That's me into the sand, and uh, obviously dropping right the way down to the bottom end of the field. So, yeah, not a good start for me at all. Let's just see what it was like on board. An okay start. Seems to be at the same place as Schumacher. Schumacher tries to nip it on the inside. He disappears off because obviously he's inside and out crossed and then that's it. <laughs> Nothing I could do about that. My God. I think it's just one of those things, isn't it? So, actually, it might be interesting. Let's, let's have a look at it from his point of view, from Schumacher's camera. Let's see what sort of a start he gets off to as the lights go out. You can see a bit of wheel spin there from Cross. And Schumacher obviously just got a great start in second gear. And then Cross leaves the door open on the inside. Schumacher tries to go through. Yeah, I didn't know he was there. It's just one of those things. Obviously, that's why he didn't get any kind of a penalty. Well, looks like I'm going to have to um, have to find my way back up through the field then, doesn't it? The problem that I've got is that my computer is not running properly well today. And it's juttering a lot. So I'm hoping that with uh, the running of OBS in the background. I'm hoping that I'm uh, not going to get too much stalling on the frame rate. So let's concentrate on so it. Just try and get a good exit out of the hip and just see if I can catch up on any of these cars out of it because they are a lot slower than I am in a straight line I think. There's a Ferrari shot grabber. But stay behind. I'm not going to try and bother overtaking them. That's too dodgy. It's only the start of the race. that there was going to be a bit of traffic like right? this just see now what we can do. I've got to try and make up the places. This is not a good start at all. Let's look up the inside. Oh, goodness sake. Well, that's a Morbidelli. That's Morbidelli I've just taken out there, but he was going unusually slow through there. Oh, this is not a good race. This is not a good start. This is not going to be good for the championship. here because I've lost part of the front wing and that's the footwork behind me. I think that was worried. I'm going to have to come into the pits and that means I'm going to have to change strategy. I think I'm going to change to a one-stopper now. If I do that, at least I'll be, uh, well, in theory, I should be on the same format as everybody else will be on, but my God, front wing, gone. Trying to step up to the side of the field. Oh, look at this battle going on here. Side of the BMS if I can. Yes, that's quite good. Okay, so we've got to try and make this work now. That's the last one of the footworks. I'm going to just stay here behind the Jordan because I'm coming to the pits. Right, I have to change to a one step up.
Herbert out. Oh, dear. Look what happened to Johnny. But, I've got to concentrate now. Seven's still out in front. Let's have a look through the perimeter board. He's just set the passes up. So I haven't quite gone a lap down yet, but I've got to try and make up some time here. This is going to affect me in the championship if I don't get in the top six. Oh, he's lost it. He's lost it on the final corner. Wow. Spun out. A rare mistake from the young Finn. Fantastic development. Wow. I better get a move on.
Oh yeah, so the um, way that the fuel loads are done, I know I know in 93 we didn't we didn't have any fuel, we had them come in until 94. And I'm still thinking about that, but obviously I'm I'm still doing that it would have been tire stops. But in the uh, the editor that I use where you can edit the strategies, um, rather than have some people doing a one stop, some people have two or three, I've tried to keep some equilibrium in the championship. So what I've actually done is I've made everybody stop twice, but you can do a plus or minus amount of 10 laps as well, I've put in it. So, not all the drivers, are, they're all going to be stopping twice, but they're not all going to be stopping the same lap. So, some of them could actually stop 10 laps earlier than the others, or 10, 10, 10 laps later. So, it gives another dimension to it, another bit of variation. It should be quite good. Um, it's really worked out quite well this year on the few times that I've tried it. And on some of the other when I was running uh, the normal method, um, yeah, some of the drivers obviously were way off the pace and then ended up getting an unusual result as a consequence of it. So yeah, this one should even it up a little bit more, but let's see. Okay. I'm 24 now, let's see that slows. So I'm gonna shut up now because I've got to I've got to really concentrate and try and uh, Gap down there, score point nine.
fastest lap I've done so far. And I didn't seem to use that tyre too much this lap. Let's see what else we can do on this lap. Okay, Stocks. Whoa, that was close. Nearly ran out onto the gravel again. But we got the position. Okay, so now we're up to 20 seconds. Let's on this car was shocking for this race, absolutely shocking, the brakes are awful. I think I'm actually going to struggle to pass some of these cars here today. I really do because I've got, I don't seem to have any ability to be able to brake super late like I normally do. The brake balancing practice that I've tried and qualified just wasn't working. And I'm really struggling to close the gap up. 
in the manner that I thought I was going to. Lacking front end grip, brake balance is off. Turning on the car is so bad. speed it's okay through here it's actually quite good but the high medium to high speed cars is very very touchy not a lot of grip say that I've put too much wind on the back because I needed it because the car was all over the place. It's such a different chassis from the one that I drove last year. The handling characteristics, as soon as you even the car shape, because the car shape is different, as soon as you put on the same setup that you had the previous year, it throws it all out of kilter. You've actually got to start again. By and large. Last year I was able to run the car with minimal rear wing. The car was very well balanced, but this year, completely different.
two Jordans. Well, they've dropped down a bit this year, haven't they? Oh, it's not going to help the tyres, is it? Is that, is that, that must be Irvine and Barrichello down in quite an over um, 18th, 17th position. That's not a good weekend for the Jordan team. Their, their performance this year seems to be a bit up and down. So Gary Anderson has designed a relatively decent car, but obviously they're struggling this year with the car engines. Come on, Johnny, can you get down and try and get past this in the and get chasing after those two Jordans. Andretti's out. I wonder what's happened there. Has he had another technical failure? Let's so have a look. Let's get across the line first and see what happens with the bike. Yeah. Engine problem. Wow. Andretti out. Bad though, is it? We're getting up there, we're into 15th now, courtesy of that. Bartels is ahead of Frenson, I think, was he? Oh no. Frenson's in 10th. Yes, again. He could very well be one for the future, I'm told. Okay, let's concentrate now. Head down, Joe. So 
by even like in this this season, Damon Hunt's actually really represented himself well at Wigan because a lot of people thought that Senna big money moved to Williams after his time at the time. Yeah, Hob Berger's going to come in. My teammate, he's going to be coming in. See the red lights on. Bottom right corner of the cockpit. He's going to be coming in from sixth. Is he going to manage? Yeah, is in. And third, goes to the professors in.
Jenna's into the place. That's why the time is going well crazy. So Damon Hill's actually got more fuel in. And was within five seconds of Senna. That's a very good show from Damon. So at least he's into the pits. side by side through here. Wow. My word. And he was coming into the pits. JJ Leto. Not another retirement. Was that was that Bundle? Was it? So I look back at that and see who that was. I didn't even see how that looked like a sound or something. Let's have a look. Oh, it was Brundle. Wow, that's a big fire. That looks like an oil leak. Yep. He also didn't get the call to come into the pits from the Benetton team. I won't be happy about that. There's going to be oil on the track. Engine's cut out. It's a bit of bad driving from Martin, really. He should have come into the pits. But hey, he hasn't. take it cautiously going past in there because when you're on keyboard and not under full like, um, control like you are when you're on the steering wheel, it um, you can end up with the computer doing dodgy things. But let's crack on. It's interesting now. See 
where we can get up to. Three, two, eight, but I've still got to stop. And everybody else in front of me has stopped. But they've got to stop again. Will I have to, or can I make it go? Can I make the tyres last? Another 40 laps. This is 30 laps. See, this is what I mean. I, I think I'm going to struggle here uh, to do this all on one stop because I've got two more laps, really, before I'm going to come in. And, I've, and that means I'll have only done 32. And I'm going to try and make the car do 40 laps in one set of fuel. So, what do I do? I don't have the speed really to um, set fast lap times. But do I come in and just now revert back to the original plan? Or do I just stick with one? Oh, decisions, decisions. Uh, okay, I need to have a think about this. I need to have a look at the times and the gaps. Just see where we are. I've got to get a point to finish. If I can. Let's have a look because Damon's done a 21 8. I'm probably only going to be able to do a mid 22. So, either way, I'm still not going to be able to catch the fastest guys. And I haven't got as much of a speed advantage as I'm going to need to do the Salvas and the EJs. But I do stop them twice. So we're going to go for just one more for this stop, and that is it. And that is my two stops. Why is he getting off the ball? Get the car slowed down to get on the ball. It's close. Okay. So we're going to see if we can do Let's pretend that I didn't have to top the fuel up. Uh, still 9th, 
so I've got to try and close up. So this chart is still an outside chart, so I think I'm looking at it. Yeah, I've burgered this. Thirty seconds away up the road. I could get so maybe a point. Okay, maybe a point. It's doable. Let's see. This is going to be a lonely, lonely race now. I'm going to try and see if I can find out the gap to JJ. Let's see what the gap is. Okay, I'm going to the gap. 27.5 So the is now extended to at the top 10.5 over Stay second, there's still a decent result in it. Cross is only 4.3 seconds behind him. Okay, that's going well again. Two servers are going well again. Seven and eight, but obviously again the line. One, one or two from the top six pulling out. Still not enough. Second away. Mm. Of course, the is that I'm going to have tyres that are going to be absolutely finished by the end of this race. I'm going to have no grip left. And if I do get ahead of any of these three, further than the little later, they are going to be coming after me, which means I'm going to have to defend like crazy. Barrett Callow and Irvine. I wonder what's happened to my 
that's how Prince looked, because he was, uh, he was running, uh, he was running ahead by himself, wasn't he? So unless he's had a nightmare in the pits or something. Still going quicker, but it's enough to beat him after he comes in for his next pit stop, which is arguably going to be within the next sort of. Uh, oh, my word, lost the front end of the car there. Uh, it's going to be within the next 10 laps, I suppose. So, still say I'll be able to beat JJ Leto out, but am I going to be able to beat Ben Lima? He's nine seconds up the road. It's 
20 seconds the gap to JJ. That was a big crack through the first couple of corners there. But, yeah, it's, that's the thing. It's interesting because it's more a strategy going now for me. Like what's happened with Schumacher. I mean, it's like I've said before, and I think hopefully this race proves it, um, that when I do these races, I run them as if it were live. So there's no stopping it, you know, after that incident. As Alexi's into the pitch from sixth, this is going to be interesting to see where he emerges. Um, but yeah, there's no, um, you know, if what happened to me today happened on another, in another race, I don't just stop the game and come out of it and then restart it. We go with the flow. That's that's the aim of this. This is running this literally as it is. So that incident that's happened with Schumacher to the first corner today and set me down the back of the grid. Well, you know, that's what happens. So just makes it more interesting and I want to try and keep it although this is an alternate universe obviously I want to do try I do want to try and keep this as realistic as I possibly can and obviously you can't do that in a real motor race so why would I think of doing that here okay so it's 18.1 the car's just starting to come back to me now feels like um, it's a little bit more responsive Gotta be mindful I don't burn out the tires. Tires Senna's over the line. Damon Hill's got the gap down to 9.9 .9 now, so unless Ayrton's got a mechanical problem, um, I suspect that that is due to back markers. Let's 
um, 18 seconds behind a lacing, but I'm pretty sure that the Renault engine that Aaron Jones got in the back of that DJ Frost, he was going to pull away, so I can forget about that. So my main target is you know, two Sauber's of Leto ahead of me, and then Ben Lino. got to just keep the pressure on him, especially with Ben Lino. 29 seconds behind him from what I can work out. I don't know why I'm 30 seconds behind him, I think I'm 30. racing AI that's from 1994, 1995, 1996, wherever this game came out, um, it always has that little bit of unpredictability and uncertainty, I'm not sure what the AI cars are going to do around you, so you've still got to have your wits about you, but that's what makes this game so brilliant. Consistency has been relatively okay. Um, that time was a 16.6 gap. and that would eat into bending it, but I will be left with no tyres at the end of the race, 100%. Berg is going to come in, I think, unless he's uh, got a problem in his sister for a while, I hope he hasn't, we need the points, we're going to try and close up to Williams and Benetton, uh, not far behind us, so we're going to the championship. That was bad, and that was clean through there. Warwick's out in footwork. 23.6 in the building. 16.1 sounds only. Is that four tenths quicker? Have you managed? Is that Senna behind me? I think that's it, and Senna behind me. Championship rival. That's not good, is it? <laughs> that is not good. Shoeys into the pits, then I'm not going to feel obliged to jump out of his way. He's looking up there to me, he can me. We might be good friends in this alternate universe, but the visors are down, mate. The devil horns are out. We're all racing for uh, ourselves out there. He's just being a bit extra cautious, but he needs to be 
careful because obviously Damon Hill has already just made his pit stop. He's going to be losing time stuck behind me. Not a great bit of time, but a good action play into the hands of uh, our fellow Brit Damon Hill. Before anybody says, well, could we, is this just another Brit out there? Another one? No, it isn't. Okay. I'm racing for the minute. Still not coming to the pits. Mm. Interesting. Got a grab on the head, and I've got to get, uh, get past the grabber. Not there. I'll just try and see if I can stay there. So move out of my way. Get out of the way, Mark. Come on. And you're got a bit of distance between me and Ayrton. Frost is in. Senna, this team now. Senna's going to be in trouble here because uh, he's getting held up. Just good play to the hands of uh, Damon Hill and even Alain Prost. And still Blundell's ahead of Senna. Oh, oh, how is this going to work out at the front of the field? You can see Senna's ahead now. Racing the BMS Delara, and I can't, I can't do anything about it. I'm going to try and slip it up the inside of the Joris because I can't, I can't afford to get stuck behind it. I'm trying to chase the Salvers. Come on, man, get out of the way, son. It's not going to let me through. My God, a break. Not worth the risk. It's absolutely not worth the risk. Senna's still not coming in. What game is he and Williams playing? He's losing so much time. Is this going to give Damon Hill the opportunity? I think it is, you know. I think it very well could do. I can't see it doing anything other than help um, Damon's attempt to, uh, to get past. But obviously somebody with Senna's stature and he'll be calling the shots, not Williams. He'll be saying to him, no, don't worry about this, I've got, I've got it covered. No doubt. But he's still behind them, I can see. He's looking at the rear view mirror. Look how he's in. It's the gap to Hill. Yeah, it's in 35 seconds. I think David's going to have that gap down to about 5. Ben's not going to just completely rid of the front tyres of half time. Okay, Vendinger's in. This is it. He's my main target. Not JJ, because I know that Leto's going to be pitted anyway. He's bending our after. Come on, Joey. He sent us into the pits, is he? Where's Vendinger coming out? Where is he? Oh, I've beaten him! Ooh, that was close. Okay. That was good, that was good. Mission accomplished there. But he's going to be on fresh rubber. And I'm not. So at least I'm going to be, from the looks of it, I'm going to be ahead of Leto. Do I not to keep bending it behind me? I'm going to be in prime position to benefit. In seventh, should anything happen to the top six. And that's all I can ask for. 
fighting anybody else. I know that I'm going to have to defend Okay, well, I've just realised that there was an issue with uh, the audio settings in the recording that I'm doing, uh, so I've had to pause the game, and oh, let me just uh, get this sorted out because he is going to cut out in front of me, somebody else has just hit me, good grief, who was that? That Vendinger. Oh, Vendinger's just clobbered it to the back of me. Luckily, I haven't got any damage. Uh, yes, so there was an issue with the audio recording. It seemed as though my voice wasn't quite loud enough uh, earlier on. So I uh, had to pause the game, reset a few things, and now it should be working fine. I'm just trying to defend my position here from Vendinger because I cannot give it up. Somebody's blowing up in front of me as the, uh, the timing charts to sort themselves out. Somebody's, uh... oh, look at this, I'm going to have to go defensive here. Oh no, who is that pulling off the road? Just trying to still keep bending up behind me. I'm not sure who that was there. Oh, it's JJ Leto! Oh wow, so I've really got to go defensive now because that means that I could be well in with a shout a top six finish and I'm not letting Vendinger through oh, he's all over the back of me here oh you're not coming through there Carl I'm afraid buddy I'm going to just keep defending even he's a lot faster than me down the back straight away so I'm really I think I've really sacrificed an unnecessary amount of top speed here I'm not going to do a replay on uh, what happened to um, JJ because obviously we can see that he's had some sort of an engine failure it looks like anyway. Oh, that wasn't too clever. Riding the grass on the exit of the right-hander. Got to get the brake point right under the bridge. Just try and keep up with a little momentum. That's not bad, not bad. Got to keep bending up behind me. Berger's miles ahead of me. I'm not going to catch him, so this is going to have to be a defensive job now. Bendinger and just hope that somebody retires in front of me. Senna's only two seconds ahead of Damon Hill though. Oh wow. Is he going to get any closer? Is Damon going to be able to catch him? See I'm losing so much time through there. Bendinger's on the attack. I'm just going to cover the line. Be able to do anything there. If you want to get past me, you're going to have to go around it the hard way and around the outside, buddy. Sam looks like he's pulled out three tenths of a second on Damon at the front. Crossed with Schumacher seemingly closing in. That's Suzuki out. Oh, they're dropping like flies, but it's, it's at the wrong end of the uh, the, the order for me. Senna with the fastest lap, 124, 21.4. My God, he's obviously going a lot faster than me, and I am struggling on the tyres now. I've got to keep up with the Minardi ahead. I think bending up. I've got to just keep bending up behind me now. I think. Oh, this is going to be close. I think I've got just about enough to stay in front into the hairpin. Yeah, but this is where it's going to get tricky. I've got to try and get a good exit out. But that Ilmore engine is. Powerful, very powerful. I've got to try and get some distance between myself and Bendinger. Try and see if I can slip it up the inside into the chicane. Yes, that'll do. That gives me a little bit of breathing space. Not much. Bendinger's coming. He's coming. I have to go defensive. Oh, he's. Oh, great pass. Oh, and I've retaken him. Oh, that was. Brilliant. Blundell's out of the race. My God. Bendinger gave it a go. Set up with another fastest lap, 121.3. My God, he's pulling away from Damon Hill now. But there was nothing that Bendinger could do about that. I think he, he may well have just run the car in too deep. 
and he's not going to give up. This is impressive driving from Bending, I've got to say. But, yeah, I'm 24 seconds behind Gerhard. Oh, Bending is slipping it up the inside. Oh, I had to give him the space there. I've got to try and stay with him now through the S's. That was a great pass. I wasn't expecting that, I've got to be honest. But, I'm going to stay right with him. And hopefully I can get get by at the chicane. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it some welly. Oh no, the engine's gone. As if my weekend couldn't have gotten any worse. Ah, oh, what a shame. Unbelievable. I had a problem in Indianapolis last time out with a fuel pump failure, and now the engine has gone. Wow. Pull off the circuit. Well, that's my race done, people. That is Joey Davis signing off from the Canadian Grand Prix. Wow. Well, I guess there's not really much else to say other than um, I could talk through the last 11 laps, but we haven't done it in quite a while, um, and this is a new way that I'm actually going to run these races. So, let's watch the rest of the race um, with some commentary, shall we? And we're back on board with Alain Frost and Murray Walker and James Hunt in the commentary booth. This is fantastic. Senna's still in the lead, he's 3.4 seconds up the road. Frost is in 30, 16.3 seconds, and off! That's Frenson! Heinz Harold Frenson off at the final corner. And oh my goodness, he's just about managed to keep it under control. How on earth he's not damaged the car? It's beyond me, but that's Senna in the background. Yes, a quite unbelievable uh, mistake there from Heinz Harold. That's a bit un uncharacteristic as well. As Ayrton Senna bears down on the Joe's Porsche. And we're right on board now with the Williams Renault. As Senna, Senna chases down the young German through the left-hander. And there's Gerhard Berger looking to get past one of the... The Brabham Ferraris in the background. Gerhard Berger in sixth position ahead of Carl Wendlinger. With Joey Davis now having retired. And that's Hill! That's Damon Hill. He's now trying to get past the jurist of Michael Bartels. As Senna's got ahead of Frenson. But Damon Hill is desperately trying to stay in touch with Senna. But he's 3.4 seconds to the good. As we see Berger almost lose the back end of the Ferrari. Fantastic stuff! Yes, Gerhard Berger almost losing control. He's had a pretty poor 1993 season for Ferrari at the moment. He's been completely outpaced by his teammate and 1991 world champion, Joey Davis, who sadly has now retired with an engine failure. It's going to be quite interesting to see what Ferrari actually managed to do with Berger during the rest of the season, because if it was me, I'd be looking at getting him possibly replaced for 1994. But my understanding is that he does have a two-year contract, a firm contract with the team, heading into 1994. As we look at Alain Prost now, going through the final right, and then the left, the final complex, and across the line to start the 61st lap in the Ligier. And there's Ayrton Senna. So Ayrton Senna now 3.4 seconds to the good, and Senna's pulling away from Damon Hill in second position. But is Damon Hill going to be able to do anything about it? Because Alain Prost is 17 seconds further back, and Damon Hill has only got past one of the Joe's Porsches. And Ayrton Senna cuts through the back markers like a hot knife through butter. He's fantastic through the back markers. But we're going to look back further down the field now. And there's Fittipaldi's in eighth position with his Minardi teammate Pierre Luigi Martini in ninth. And Rubens Barrichello, the young hotshot from Brazil, in tenth position with Frenton and Bartels in eleventh and twelfth. And Ivan Capelli in the BMS Delara in thirteenth. With Alessandro Zanardi in 14th, the core Ursa in 15th in the Brabham Ferrari. The back up front, Senna's got a 4.1 second lead as he comes across the line. What's the gap? Damon Hill's still behind the back marker there, and there's nothing that he can do. It's 4.2, so he's pulled out one tenth of a second on the last lap. Fantastic driving from Senna. And there's Vendinger. So Carl Vendinger was embroiled in a terrific battle with Joey Davis earlier before Davis had his technical failure, his engine failure in the Ferrari. And Carl Wendlinger now finds himself in seventh position, and he's very much hoping that there's going to be some sort of a retirement for one of the top six, so as he can get into the points and actually try and get 
some decent points overhauls for the Sauber team as we ride on board with Damon Hill now and he just about manages to get past Hightail Prince. So that's good moving from Damon Hill, but he's lost a colossal amount of time and it's now 4.4 seconds the deficit to Ayrton Senna. But Senna's still out in front. He's looking like he's got this race under control. The gap between the two of them had narrowed after the pit stops and Senna was getting held up behind a few of the back markers, including his good friend and nemesis title rival Joey Davis earlier in the race. But now he's pulled the gap back out after the final pit stops. As uh, Damon Hill goes through the S's, they're absolutely flat chat through there at 180 miles an hour. I think you'll find it's actually 185 miles an hour through there, Murray. 185! Fantastic stuff! But Martini and Fittipaldi, we understand, they are in a battle royal in the two Minardis. But they are too far back from Carl Bendiger and Gerhard Berger. But is Sean and Lacey? Where's Sean and Lacey? He's in fifth position now, but he's 15 seconds away from Schumacher. Yes, Michael Schumacher holding well in fourth position there after his opening collision with Joey Davis. As we look back again at Damon Hill, it'd be great to get some more onboard shots from some of these drivers. With only seven laps remaining now, this is absolutely fantastic. And I've, you've got to put in a big shout out to Cor Ursa and the Brabham team because Ursa's down in 15th position and they are a team that is in pre qualifying mode at the moment, as is the BMS Alara of Ivan Capelli. And both, both teams are running very well in 13th and 15th position, with Alessandro Zanardi now splitting the two of them. But I think a big shout out has got to go to Rubens Barrichello because in the Jordan Hart, which is massively underpowered, compared to the top teams. He's running 10th. Yes, it's very good performance there from Rubens Barrichello. But the main focus has got to be on Alain Prost now, who's 18, nearly 19 seconds adrift of the two race leaders, Senna and Damon Hill. And let's not forget that Ligier and Prost are running the same specification engine as the Williams, which we're running on board now with Ayrton Senna. So Alain Prost is running the same sort of specification as the Williams, but the car is light years behind the Williams, which is very well designed by Adrian Newey and Patrick Head. And let's not give a shout, let's give a shout out to the Benetton team because Schumacher's in four and they are doing a stellar job with their car and it is improving race by race. It most certainly is, yes. I think they could very well be a dark horse for 1994. In fact, Michael Schumacher and the Benetton team. And Schumacher is definitely worthy of winning more races than he has so far managed. Last year, let's not forget, he had an awful year in the McLaren Ilmore partnership which came to nothing, and then he ended up moving away from McLaren a year earlier than his contract. And that's, and that's Christian, and that's Fittipaldi out! So Christian Fittipaldi's retiring from 8th position in the Minardi, and that elevates his team and into 8th position, with Barrichello now up to ninth. and Barrichello, we can see the gap is closing, but they're going to need to put that fire out, because the back end of it is all blaze completely! Yes, let's hope that the marshals will get out there with their fire extinguishers and put the fire out in a very prompt fashion, which I'm absolutely positive they will do as the field continues to go by and it's out. And the marshals will get ready now, ready now to move that car off the circuit and into a safe place so we can resume racing. But a fantastic development there because that's him out and Martini's in eighth place. It's Barrichello night. Frenson moves up into 10th. Bartels moves up into 11th. Capelli is 12th. Zanardi is 13th. Ursa's going to go into 14th position, but who's going to go out into 15th? Will it be Blundell in the second Brabham? It's going to be fantastic to find out, but we're still waiting for the others to come through, even though Fittipaldi is showing that he's out of the race. But back up front now, Damon, Damon Hill is 5.9 seconds away from Ayrton Senna. And this is going to be interesting now, because Senna is still pounding along, coming up to lap his Brazilian counterpart, Rubens Barrichello, in the Jordan. And he is going to go two laps down. So this has been a quite phenomenal display by the Williams Renault team and by Ayrton Senna in particular. With Damon Hill six seconds further back, and as long as Senna doesn't push it too far, as everybody seems to be doing through the final chicane, I think it's pretty damn certain that Ayrton Senna is going to get yet another victory this season with only three laps to go. Yes, there's three laps to go, and it's Hill in second, it's Prost in third, Schumacher still fourth, with Jean Alesi in fifth, but Gerhard Berger seems to be catching Jean Alesi. The gap is only three seconds, it's four, four seconds now, as Berger's gone across the line with Jean Alesi. And Wendiger's in seventh, is Sauber going to get any points? Is there going to be a top six failure for any one of those drivers? Or is it going to be just them that finishes the race? And Senna's catching Barrichello hand over fist now. 
As he goes through the right, he's through the left, he's on the run, downhill run towards the right-handed hairpin. At the back end of the circuit, he pulls out. Barrichello just lets him through there, so wise driving from Barrichello to let the Brazilian legend through. And if he's got any nouse about him, he will simply watch the way that Senna accelerates out of the corner and see if he can pick up any kind of tips from the two-time world champion. It'd be fantastic to see Senna win in Montreal. It's long overdue, he's not won a race for a few races now. And he goes through the final right, the left, and across the line. Bartels is performing very well behind his teammate Hightower Crenson, so it'll be interesting to see if we can get a comparison between them. But we have to follow what the TV director is doing, as we see Damon Hill now, 6.6 .6 seconds away from Senna. And I think that Damon Hill will just be quite happy now. He realises he doesn't have the pace of Ayrton Senna to win the Grand Prix. He's just going to sit there serenely in second place and hope that something befalls his teammate to enable him to inherit the lead. With Cross 21 and a half seconds further back in third, and Schumacher only four seconds behind Prost. But is Schumacher catching Prost? That's the battle that we surely want to be looking at now. It's less than four seconds. We need to see Mr. TV Director. If anything is going to happen as Senna goes underneath one of the Minardis. He goes underneath. That's Pierluigi Martini. But where is Michael Schumacher? Let's see if Schumacher... There's Prost. So Prost is behind the Joas Porsche. And Schumacher, he's not closing the gap. It looks as though Prost has extended the lead even further as we ride back on board with Senna, who's across the line for the 67th time. There's only two laps remaining. And Ayrton Senna, as Bartels pulls out of the way, and Prost goes through. So Alain Prost goes through in third position. And as Schumacher, has Prost been held up there trying to pass Bartels? Or is Schumacher, is Schumacher going to be able to close the gap? It looks as though it's out to 4.3 seconds now. So good good pace from Alain Cross, despite going past one of the back markers there. Very good lap speed from Schumacher. But Alessi's still in fifth place. It's Berger in sixth. But Berger is closing, closing on Alessi. Are we going to see anything in terms of those who are having a last lap ding-dong? With Carl Wendlinger in seventh place and Ayrton Senna bearing down on the Sauber. With only a couple of laps to go, it looks as though Senna has certainly got this in the bag. With Damon Hill now 7.4 seconds away. So Hill is losing time. Has Damon Hill got some sort of a problem? I don't think he has. I think I think that Ayrton Senna is just keeping up a smooth motion. It certainly looks as though Hill doesn't seem as though he's dropped a huge amount of pace away. He's just dropped another couple of tenths of a second. So it certainly looks as though Hill is just backing off as Ayrton Senna comes in to start the final lap now. Ayrton Senna onto the final lap of the Grand Prix with Damon Hill in second position and Alain Prost in third. It's Schumacher in fourth with Jean Alesi fifth. And Berger, well, that's what we want to see. We want to see if Gerhard Berger is catching. Is he catching? There's Berger. So Gerhard Berger with a back marker. That's Alessandro Zanardi in front. And Jean Alesi in the, in the Ligier is there. Berger is bearing down on him, but he's not going to be able to catch him, I don't think. No, I don't think there's going to be any enough lap time left for Gerhard Berger to catch on Alessi, unless Alessi makes a mistake. And let's just say that after his season so far, as Berger slips underneath Sonardi to go through there, Berger is absolutely on a charge. But I don't think it's going to be enough for him to go through as we rejoin Ayrton Senna now on the final lap down at the hairpin. And it's been an absolutely fantastic performance from the Brazilian. To be eight seconds ahead of his teammate, it's a very comfortable victory for him as he goes through into the S's for the final time. And what a sight to behold this is as Senna goes through the final right-hander. He's coming up to the chicane for the 69th and final time he's through the right. He's through the left. He's across the line. And Ayrton Senna wins the 1993 Canadian Grand Prix. Fantastic stuff as Damon Hill takes second place in the Williams. Alain Prost is going to be third. With Michael Schumacher taking fourth as Prost goes through the final chicane. There goes Michael Schumacher behind his German counterpart, Michael Bartels. He's across the line. Schumacher pulls out and Gerhard Berger and Jean Alesi are still battling him. But it's going to be Gerhard Berger to take the final point with Carl Wendinger finishing just outside for Sauber in seventh position.